and good Monday evening, everyone. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. Time to get back into the swing of things, and we have a lot to talk about with the weather, so we're going to get right to it. And, of course, our main topic of discussion is what's going on with the remnants here. What once was Hurricane Ida, uh, now a very strong tropical storm here. It actually had a little convective burst this afternoon here, and it's kind of re-strengthened itself a little bit. But, again, the official wind speed forecast of this thing right now is at 70 miles per hour. Look at the train of moisture that extends all the way back down into the uh, Yucatan Channel there, so quite a bit of moisture with this system to work with. Here's the latest on the system. 28.4 north, 88.5 west, moving to the north at about 18 miles per hour. So basically there's a trough or a front off to the west that's picking the system up now and it's starting to speed the system up. It's just a few hours away from making landfall later this evening or overnight tonight. Uh, along the Gulf Coast, probably around Mobile itself and Mobile Bay and then moving up toward the city of Mobile. And then eventually it's going to take a hard right turn towards the east. And as it does so, it's going to spin up quite a bit of moisture ahead of a cold front. And looks like we could be receiving quite a bit of uh, heavy rainfall coming up for you on your Tuesday. Now the official rain forecast will depend heavily on what happens with the exact track of that heavy band of rain on the northwest side. But as of now, National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch in effect here again for all of us here in northern Georgia. And really here in northwest Georgia, we can see anywhere from two to four inches possible. Depending on how that band sets up, we may be on the lower end of that around one to three inches. Or we could be on the higher end of that around two to maybe say five inches of rain if we get under that heavy band. We'll just kind of depend on that, how things set up overnight tonight and early tomorrow. Of course, the heavy rain event chances the farther south and east you go, especially toward Atlanta, where they're probably looking at three to six inches plus of rainfall. Here's one of the latest computer models that just came in reorganizing uh, and showing us the latest forecast on the track of rain here. You can see where well, this computer model wants to forecast that heaviest shield of rain just off to our south of west, basically from about Calhoun down toward uh, the north side of Atlanta around Canton area there. There's a very thin band and that, believe it or not, amount of rain there is being forecasted there around five plus inches of rain there and just off to the north and west of that is where we're expecting we are and we're expecting around anywhere three inches or so would be a good average but around two to four inches is what we'll call for there. So we'll just have to see how all this sets up. But again, that's kind of the way things are forecasting. Now you can see quite a bit of rain lifting on up out of the Gulf of Mexico right now. Quite a bit of moisture stretching out ahead of this system, which again is still offshore in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. But you can see the moisture really streaming ahead of this. Also, we have one little tropical disturbance back to the west that's going to kind of get absorbed into the system along with the cold front moving in from the west. Here's a little closer in Doppler radar image down from the south and you can see uh, the eye of the storm here it has a very, very well defined eye down there in the Gulf of Mexico again now lifting straight off towards the north and you can see Mobile Bay and where Mobile is and this is where the system is expected to move to again. So that's where the heaviest rain is. A little satellite picture showing us here. Look at all the clouds and all the moisture streaming up again from the Gulf of Mexico into the area here. And then we have a cold front that's moving in from the north and west. So we have Ida coming up from the south. A cold front moving into north should help sandwich together to bring us a very good chance of rain coming up for us as we go throughout your day on Tuesday. So basically what we're looking at is heavy rain being likely on Tuesday. Two to four inches of widespread rain is possible. The farther south and east you go could be looking at anywhere from three to five inches of rain. And we could also have some gusty winds as well tomorrow. Winds may gust up to 20 to 30 miles per hour plus, especially in the higher elevations as this system moves by and the cold front moves in from the north and west as well as the pressure gradient between the two creates some strong gusty winds. So we'll have to continue to watch that also as we go throughout the next several days. So for tonight, cloudy skies and that rain arriving as we go throughout the overnight hours. So by morning, the rain should be here and the rain will be pretty likely on your Tuesday with some of that rain being heavy. Again, two to four inches possible. Higher elevations or areas down to our south and east may receive anywhere from three to five inches, especially as you head farther south toward the Atlanta area there. Winds will be gusty as well out of the northeast. 15 to 30 miles an hour plus. So we'll have to continue to watch that as well as we go throughout the next several days. But look at this. After we get past all the heavy rain on Tuesday, we dry out by Wednesday for Veterans Day. And then for the rest of the week into the weekend, it looks very nice with plenty of sunshine and temperatures cooling off a little bit as we head towards next week. May see a little rain moving here by Monday of next week with another front. That's a little iffy and of course seven days away. So we got plenty of time to find tune that forecast. As we get your weather uh, webcast for your Monday evening set, we'll have the next one on for Tuesday. Have a great evening.